Hello, and welcome to the Let's Play of Apollo Justice. This is Mirrorwood again, and we are going to return to Day 3 of Trial of Tournament Corner. But before we do that, as usual, we are going to announce the cast. So, starting from my left... Uh, hi, I'm from space. <laughs> That'd be Akalev. I'm from PT. I don't know. Well, say your name. I have a Josh! I mean, maybe if I have one, never mind. That's Josh. <laughs> Uh, I'm Kuru. Uh, I live in a hermit crab shell. Good enough. <laughs> now I'm Noel Shermeyer, and you can find me on Twitter. Oh. Hey. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so with that, let us begin. I think this is some kind of product. <laughs> I am a product. <laughs> Whoa. That's <laughs> June seventeenth. June seventeenth, nine fifty-two a.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number Two. This is it! The big day! Do you get any sleep? Yeah, we're getting consistent voice actor for her. <laughs> yeah, I went to bed at about 1 o'clock a.m. or so. Oh! What time did you wake up? Uh, 3 o'clock a.m. That's enough for a whole sleep cycle. It's only two hours, Apollo! But at least you have me! Oh, hey, what are you saying there? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you're doing this voice. And the amazing Mr. Hat. There's looking at you, kid. Good luck today, Apollo. Good luck. That that voice. Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, get any sleep? Mr. Wright. I was going out of my mind with boredom, so I signed myself out earlier today. Somehow, that place makes... Fake piano playing at the Indochine pasta joint seem almost fun. That. <laughs> I'm Say sorry. It. Say it. Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know Professor Gavin's witnesses today? We may have to reassign the voice actor. <laughs> Take a guess. The show goes on, damn it. Hmm. How about a little plum? I'm good now. <laughs> that Sherman tank of a mom? <laughs> nope, guess again. But the Sherman tank wasn't known for being That's too bad, you know. Speaking of moms, you need to find me a new mommy one of these days, Daddy. A story by Sigmund Freud. <laughs> <laughs> it's barely morning, and you're at it already, Truzy? <laughs> oh, that isn't creepy at all. <laughs> Okay, this is why I don't buy their father-daughter relationship. So, Mr. Wright, do you know who the prosecution's witness is? Uh, Alita Tiala, and make sure everyone pronounces that differently. Uh, your client's fiance. <clears throat> Alita Tiala? She's going to be a witness? Mm -hmm. Recenter the window! But that, <laughs> but that seems off! Why would she testify against her own fiance? Good enough I think now. you're good. I think you're good. Yeah. You have to wonder what Gavin's up to. Something's going down today. That much is clear. Well, not to worry. I've got my panties back. Oh, yes, right. <laughs> if we can't find a killer, I'll pull one out of there. No comment. <laughs> You're welcome. Does anybody, like, read this stuff aloud? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently we are. Uh, June 17th, 10 a.m., District Court, courtroom number four. Court is now in session for the trial of Walkie Kataki. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Prosecution is warmed up, and it's a sold-out house. Very well. To recap? Well, yesterday's witness seemed more guilty than any other party. Guilty of panty snatching? We did find one thing for certain. There were three people in the park at the time of the murder. Oh, really? The witness, the victim, and the defendant. Obviously. Correct, Herr Judge. And today, I'd like to... <laughs> Accent failure. I'd like to do something a little new age. I'd like to look at this horrible crime from the outside. The outside? The acquisition of the murder weapon. The preparation for the act. Our poor defendant told all you'll see. To his betrothed. His betrothed? His fiancée, Herr Judge. 
His partner for life, with no chance for parole. You know, German people actually sound like they're speaking in an English accent. Very, very well. You may show your lucky lady to the stand. Oh, really? No. <clears throat> your name and occupation, Fräulein. Alida Tiala, my occupation is future wife. Ah, traditional values. I respect that. Oh, really? Too many brides these days can't even weave baskets blindfolded underwater. Wow. You have interesting tastes here, Judge. Yet here you're today at, you're here today as a witness for the prosecution. We are not all animals. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I didn't want to be testified to at first. <laughs> <Testicle>. <laughs> But I couldn't hide the truth. Hmm. Honesty. Another admirable trait. Oh, really? You'll be coming my type within a f span of five minutes. <laughs> Fräulein, is it true that on the day of the crime, the defendant, Vaki Kataki, confessed his plans? No, I didn't. His plans for murder? What? In that world domination? Yes. The witness will please give her testimony to the court. Oh, this is the part where we, like, click through as we go, right? Correct. It was the day the family health checkup results came back. When Waki found out that Dr. Maractus had lied, he flew into a rage. No, I didn't! A rage 128 I'll teach him, he said. <laughs> he took one of the family's pistols. Oh? Huh? And you already know what happened that night. No, I don't. I... I just don't see how anyone but Waki could have done it. You shot someone? Isn't sure. Uh, I did? Yeah, that's why we're here. So, the pistol did belong to the Kadaki family, then. Yes, with regards to this, an investigation is underway at the Kadaki mansion. On charges of possession of illegal firearms. I did not. And the bullet that took the victim's life, was it... No. Fired from the pistol the defendant procured? Yes, this has been proven. How can you prove something like that? Bullets carry marks from the barrel that fired them, called rifling marks. The more you know. And they, can't, they can't call ballistic markings anymore. <laughs> rifling marks? Think of them as being a gun's fingerprint, left on every bullet it fires. And when did you first hear about Walkie's plans? It was the day of the murder. Oh, really? I... I shouldn't have stopped... I should have stopped him. <laughs> I just didn't think he would actually do it. Oh, really, now? I'll oh. stop saying that. Mm, very well. <laughs> the defense may begin the cross-examination. Okay. Oh, I love cross-examination! Oh, yeah. Me, 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 can I do it? Can no. I do it? <laughs> oh, it's a bit too late for that now. <laughs> Hold it! That was the day of the murder, correct? Yes. Everyone in the family received their checkup results that day. When Waki looked at his, his face went so pale. You mean blanched. <laughs> but of course, he had just found out that he had the bullets in his chest. Shit, where'd that come from? <laughs> so, you were there at the time. <laughs> yes, poor Waki. Oh, I thought he meant the prosecutor was there at the time. Oh well. But the prosecutor was a bullet? Hold it! That must have been, uh, quite frightening. He was furious. He ripped his report up into shreds. Oh, get rid of the bullet. <laughs> Incidentally, I had to request another copy to file as evidence. A bothersome, sure, but one I performed without complaint. That's what she said. Waki's at an age where he's hard to control when he loses his temper. Oh. Of course, that little bit is instability. It's so cute. Sexy. Great, now he sounds like a psychopath. Yep. You saw his eyes? <laughs> and the forehead, man. Look at the forehead. So, is it easy to take a pistol out from the house? I mean, Apollo's forehead? Not <laughs> really. I, I think there's a system in place to limit access. But Waki's a special case, being the next in line. You your firearms card. Perhaps his treatment was a bit too special, yeah? No. Well, maybe he is a bit spoiled. I hear he got amazing presents for his birthdays. Like guns. Nine. Last year, he and was knives. a switchblade made out of chewing gum and chocolate gravestone. That's not morbid at all. <laughs> Sounds like he has a taste for sweets. And danger! Yeah, no, no, no. Dang! 
The point here being that Walkie had access to a pistol. 